How'd you guys go? Went for quite a big wander down the river. Mm -hmm. Most of the gravel is in this section and there's one more like half a K down. All right. We saw a whole bunch of gold. We're going to be like Incans. <laughs> Should we unpack it? Yep. I can show you what we got. At their bonanza claim. I think we got everything. With $1,000 invested on supplies. Make ourselves a little football pitch. Yeah, play some soccer. Oh, man. Fancy. Yeah. No expense bag. The team must build a small sluice box to run a bulk test and prove the ground. Like a glove. Well, I can go down and start setting the pump up and all that. This is pretty straightforward. Yep. I would wrap the carpet over the top and nail it to the bottom of the front. Right? Yeah. All right, we'll do that. All right. Well, grab the other end of this bit of wood. Even with a five-foot sluice box, the team will be able to run nearly 20 times more pay dirt than panning. Panning in a river is great for prospecting, but it's not going to help us if we want to know what the mining potential is. So that's why it's really important we do some bolt testing. There's a lot of pressure on this sluice box and there's a lot of pressure on today. You know what we could do? We could get really fancy. Yeah, well. We should put some handles on the side. Sweet. Done. Good work. Right. Let's have a look. So. All right. Now, test these handles. <gasps> Beautiful. That's great. Should we take it down to the creek? Let's get it down there. There we go. Sluice box, right here. All right, I'm going to cut down to the left here. There we go. It's great. All good. Ready to rock. Fire it up. Here he comes. Go, grab the end of the pipe. Grab the end of the pipe. Grab the end of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There we go. <gasps> Tyler, did you not? Sorry. I actually don't know if I can hold this. Really? Quite a lot. Tyler, why don't you help Dan fill the wheelbarrow? Yeah. While Danny and Tyler collect paper, <laughs> it's a bit tired in here. Diego loads the sluice. Be careful, dude. And Parker keeps it clear of rocks. For not very much money, you can like build a pretty effective sluice box out of not much, you know. I would bet we're gonna have like a 70% recovery rate. I think there's some, probably some coarser gold we're not catching without ripples. You lose a steady open place for gold to fall in. The individual bristles of astroturf can serve that same function, but on like a micro scale, right? As long as it stays open, which is why I'm here, Oosh. Sorry about that. All right, it's all good. The three seconds, it was not all good. I saw your face. I'm scared of you now. <laughs> you know, this is an interesting little piece of ground out here. And now we'll actually be able to run maybe probably about a yard. In the Yukon, we run about a third of a gram a yard ounce per hundred. And so if we can get that, it would be good. Good excavating. Nice. Rock truck driving. Just stay there, stay there, stay there. Get all that gold from around there. That... Yeah, I can see it. Oh yeah, get it. Beautiful. Toy! Ah! Don't scare me like that, because I think I shout <laughs> and he gets mad. <laughs> he gets mad. Ready? <laughs> Where are we at? About a yard. Yeah. What do you want to do? Oh, let's do a cleanup. Yeah. After two hours, the team have run one yard of dirt through their hand-built box. Let's move this sluice box. Oh, yeah. Let's use the handles. <laughs> How are we going to pick it up? <laughs> Masterpiece of engineering. <laughs> oh, my Diego. Is it heavy? It's really heavy. You know why it's heavy? Don't you guys? <laughs> you know why it's heavy? Full of gold. It's full of gold. <laughs> Shut up, man. Ah. Be working in your foundry. <laughs> you got it? Oh, this is our moment, guys. 
Oh, look. Uh, yeah, flip that side. Yeah. 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 Oi. Oh, teamwork as well. Look. Your first oh, map, Paul Diego. Squeaky clean. You wouldn't be able to do a bit of heart surgery on it. How's it looking? Um, OK. There's a lot of panning. Uh, but I need some time to do that. OK. I hope we find something here. Same. We're going to be back to the drawing board if we don't. Oh, uh... This is the last pan, and then I just need to demag it. Yeah. And we'll have a rough idea of if it's like yay or nay. We won't have a wait. This is the pan. This is the pan. Parker needs to see at least a quarter of a gram for this ground to be viable. Our sluice box is working. No. That's not bad, is it? It's actually pretty decent. Thank. I'm proud of that. I'm stoked. You? I'm very proud of that. I personally think it was the handles. Box works fine. Like, look at how much dust is in there. I bet that's a little over 500 milligrams. We ran probably a bit over a yard, so it's like a third of a gram a yard is what we're mining in the Yukon. Equivalent to over $25 per yard, the ground is as rich as Parker's Yukon claim. I'm proud. Yeah, digging it out of the ground like that. With setup and running costs in Bolivia, a third of the price of the Yukon, this ground could yield a million more dollars in profit. If this ground's anything like the Yukon, then like the coarser gold's gonna be further down. It's like, I'd like to know it's deeper. So if you guys don't mind us sticking around here for a bit. No. Oh, we should definitely explore more. I mean, we're here, yeah? Yeah. I think that'd be great. Let's find where the coarse stuff is. All right. Today's actually been one of the best days for like the team, I think. I think this is the first time we've really come together as a four. We managed to build a sluice that caught gold. The ground's actually good. So basically today has proven that this place is worth giving it a good red hot shot. That's a pretty good first test. Like we ran a bit over a yard, got a third of a gram or so. If it's an indication that it's gonna get better as we go down, that's really good. Anything on the scale that we are looking for is taken and, and developed. So I'd really like to see what's further down. You know, it's rare to find good ground that's not being mined and the owner's being open to a deal. Of all the places that we've been, probably this is the one with the most potential. It's worth exploring.